Hey guys, it's Dale the Options Guru here, Think Tank Trading. Uh, it's my live watch list for Thursday, February 4th. I uh, hope you guys had a good week so far. I want to show you guys what I'm watching for tomorrow, okay? So the very first one on my list is CLII. Uh, I know I brought this up to you guys on the live stream the other day. Uh, since this SPAC got its initial news down here when it was in the $10, $11 range, um, it had a massive move that very first day all the way up to $28. A lot of us in this group are already in this. Uh, TJ and Emily had called this out in the months past. But since this thing has fell to the downside, it's had a really consistent level right here at $20. And it, it has yet to lose it one time. So you can see clearly um, early on this had major consolidation going on here. But as you can see uh, right now, uh, it's very very consolidated and non-volatile right now so i think this thing's going to be making a push to the upside very soon um, it potentially could trade sideways a little longer but i like this thing to move up and start breaking these levels down and pushing towards that 27.99 over the next month or so i also think long-term pt on this is 50 dollars plus so even if it does have some pullback uh, down in these lower ranges long-term is rock solid stock all right so if you look at this company um it, it has a lot going on for it and let's see here. Um, especially over in the european market uh, this is going to be in head competition with blink charging and romeo power and, and a lot of these other charging plug power so uh, arguably um on paper uh, this one can be the best out of all of these so this is very early on in this uh, pre-merger so uh, we definitely want to try and take advantage of this all right so we're, we're going to be right there looking and um, ready to go when it does come so the second one i'm going to show you guys uh, we covered on our last live stream uh, this is abeo uh, the very first thing that drew my attention to this was was the chart pattern itself okay because this had very, very clear support levels right here at a dollar. Uh, it tested here, it tested here, and it finally broke here. Got rejected at this level, held its breakout, traded sideways for a few months, and most recently broke out again, held this level as well, pushed to the upside, got rejected at this level. Now it's making a turn and pushing to break out again if it can break this level this thing can easily uh, come to the upside towards this 378 area uh, also uh, this one has some news coming up so let me show you on this fda calendar uh, abeo has news coming um, very soon so this is phase one and a half data presented on uh, world uh, symposium on february 12th so typically when these stocks have upcoming catalysts like that, uh, they like to trend up pretty heavy going into the week. Uh, just like the last few, uh, we had DVAX, ORTX, um, Vaxart, VRTS has been on, on a tear. So a lot of these things, uh, this is a really good calendar uh, for a catalyst calendar. And there's going to be more of them in here as well. So definitely going to be watching this one close and we'll be ready for it. it has the perfect chart set up has the rsi curling on it need some more buyers in there but i definitely think this one can at least get to three dollars bare minimum so that's my conservative estimate on that all right we're going to go over to infi so if you look at the daily on this uh, this one sat around 97 cents to a dollar for a long time uh, it's been getting a lot of hype and a lot of news lately so this initial push up and its rejection right here held its breakout, pushed, broke out here, got rejected this level, held its breakout, and now it's pushing to make another breakout again. So I definitely see this thing coming up and making a move. And if you look at it on a larger scale, uh, this thing has had a history of breaking out or getting rejected at this level right here as it did this time as well. It is possible that it could get rejected again and come to the downside. So obviously we would set stops close on that, but 
if it can hold this brake out, uh, this thing's got a ways to go. So you can see um, maybe e even push towards six, seven, maybe even ten dollars for the high. Uh, I know this thing's definitely got some major news that I'll post later uh, in the channel, but I, I definitely like this thing, and so do a lot of other people. So we'll be watching this one close. Okay. I wanted to check out uh, Sundial, actually. I, I'm not a big fan of Sundial. I know a lot of people are, but <laughs> there's some things going on with this that I just I can't not look anymore. So uh, early on when this thing was pumping hard all the way from 13 cents, I just assumed it was going to be a typical uh, pump and dump. Uh, their financials over the last few years have been really bad, so I just wouldn't get involved with it. There were shelf offerings on the table. This thing had... Uh, reverse splits ready to go but uh, they did break the dollar mark and if they can hold that and um, meet compliance then then they won't have to RS and and weed stocks in general are, are turning pretty heavy right now so if you look at this first level right here at uh, 1 130 area I mean this is right where we're at uh, this is right where it went tested today so if we can break through this first level and push towards a dollar seventy or maybe even two dollars and there, there's a huge gap to fill up there towards 388 so with the volume that this has had and and the short interest on this uh this this can't be ignored anymore at least not for me because this is a lot going on over here and i would love a piece of that if this thing did get a uh, short squeeze so i'll be watching sundial as well um if you guys do recall from the last FDA catalyst, uh, we did get time uh, right here at $1.30. Uh, this is typically how I love to play these, all right? So we got time, uh, it ran up to 248, had a little sell off, trended down for a while, and then, and then it finally got its news today. Um, this is what the news I was waiting for on this. Unfortunately, uh, we did have like a down market day, and I had some people set stop losses uh, up and a lot of people stopped out on this prior to this big move, but you can't win them all. But uh, I had it and we had it early and everything about it was correct other than the fact that uh, that market correction we had last week and, and weeks prior kind of sold it off. But this thing had a ton of huge volume today, spiked all the way up to $5. So this would have been a 4X play. Um, hopefully you guys held some free shares on this. Everyone knows my style. I swing trade for free shares uh, and I hold them. So, same thing here with Atos. Um, a lot of people are still in this one. Still looks really strong. We went over this last night. Uh, it held its breakout here, and I told you guys to look for this thing to push to the upside big time and towards this 395, and it is right at it right now. Um, I personally believe that this is going to push through and break this level. Uh, right at 395, 397, and if it can, uh, we definitely have some room to go towards four dollars and potentially five, 450 to five dollars in this range. Um, this thing had COVID 19 inhaler news. Uh, we got it all the way down here at 130. So this is a major play right here. It is not over yet. A lot of us still are in this, and a lot of us still have a lot of shares of this. So I'm looking forward to this thing pushing. Uh, making us a little bit more money. Uh, I would definitely trim some more off in this area and uh, and hold it long. Um, I like to take my free shares and, and see what these companies can turn into. And I've done it with numerous and, and I'll do it on this one as well. Okay. Um, for the person who asked me about FBIO, so FBIO has another catalyst coming this week as well. Um, it had a big gap to fill right here. Uh, this was the down days of last Thursday and Friday. It's since been pushing to the upside to reclaim its uh, trend line support there. Uh, if we can push and break this 370 area, uh, this thing has a big gap to fill up to 410, potentially even 450. So uh, there's not a lot of resistance right here if we can get through this first level. So I would love to see FBIO uh, with their news coming up in the next week uh, to break this level out and, and make a lot of people some money in our room. So. Look forward to seeing that, and um, I'll have a few large cap stocks for you guys first thing in the morning, uh, but these are my my penny watches and my SPAC watch for the morning. Uh, thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you all at open.